Hello everyone! Thank you for following my channel. Nice to see you. Today I'm going to share some pictures and information from a five-part series I did on the Dominican Republic. I have been following the Delightful Travelers, who are one of my favorite YouTube vloggers, on their journey through the country and it looks absolutely amazing. We are hoping to visit the country on a future trip. But in the meantime, I'm going to share a little history and information about the capital city of Santo Domingo, as well as Punta Cana, Las Torinas, Cabarete, and Puerto Plata. Welcome to the Dominican Republic. Santo Domingo is not only the capital city, but also the largest city in the DR, as well as the largest metropolitan area in the Caribbean based on its population. It's also the oldest community inhabited by European settlement in the Americas. It was the first seat of the Spanish colonial rule in the New World. Today, Santo Domingo is the cultural, financial, political, commercial, and industrial center of the Dominican Republic. Of course, Santo Domingo has many beautiful beaches along its coast. Punta Cana is in the easternmost region of the Dominican Republic and, and is the second most popular tourist destination in Latin America, with more visitors than any other city in the Caribbean. It is known as a resort town as well as for its white sandy beaches and blue turquoise waters. What many people may not know is that Punta Cana is also a great place to kite surf due to the mild winds along its coast. Located about two hours from Santo Domingo is Las Terrenas, which makes it a popular with Dominicans as well as tourists. Of course, the main attraction or draw to Las Terrenas is its beaches. There are quite a few of them, but I don't think you could go wrong with any one that you choose. There are also many attractions which again bring locals and tourists to the area. Cabarete is also known for kite surfing, and Cabarete Bay has been the site of many professional kite surfing competitions through the years. You will also find a lot of surfing, wind surfing, as well as paddleboarding. However, you will also find many wonderful attractions and museums in the area if you are not into water sports. It has something for everyone in the family to enjoy. The third largest city in the Dominican Republic is officially known as San Felipe de Puerto Plata. However, most people still call it Puerto Plata. It is bordered by the north by the Atlantic Ocean and the south and southwest by the hill Isabel, Isabel de Torres. Not surprisingly, it has a tropical climate, more specifically a tropical monsoon climate with hot, somewhat wet summers and warm, very wet winters. However, that doesn't keep locals and tourists from the many amazing and beautiful beaches along its coast. This area looks like a wonderful place to visit on a future trip. Well, I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit about some of these cities and areas in the beautiful country of the Dominican Republic. I have never known how gorgeous it was. I always thought of the hot climate, which it is, as well as baseball players, since so many of them come from that area. I definitely have a different view of the DR and hope to plan a trip soon. Please let me know if you have been to the area and what you think of the cities I shared. I will also include a link in the description for the post on Santo Domingo, and it will lead to my other posts in this series. Feliz Viaje! Samantha from Golden Age Traveling, where age is just a number.